Hey everyone! So it's my friend's daughter's birthday, and she's absolutely obsessed with the Disney movie Frozen. So I decided to surprise her by making her these really cute vanilla cupcakes with buttercream frosting inspired by the movie. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. Now I first started by mixing 1 4th cup of unsalted butter at room temperature with 1 cup of sugar. I then mixed in 3 tablespoons of vanilla extract with 1 4th cup of vegetable oil, 2 eggs, and my secret ingredient is 1 3rd cup of sour cream. Now the sour cream is what's going to help to make your cupcakes really moist. Your mixture should be at a runny consistency by this point. Now after that, I sifted together 1 and 3 4 cups of all-purpose flour with half a teaspoon of baking soda, 1 and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. After that is slightly mixed, I slowly poured in 2 thirds cup of whole milk. After everything was incorporated, I then divided all the batter into three separate bowls so that I can tint them in three different shades of blue. Now you can tint your batter any shade that you want, but for myself, I just decided to go with the various shades of blue for the sake of the theme. I like to add a little bit at a time of the food coloring to gradually build a color to my liking. Now this is just a touch for something fun for the kids to see once they take a big bite out of their cupcake. Now you can skip this step altogether if you just prefer a plain classic white cupcake. After that, I scooped in two spoons of batter from each bowl into the cupcake liners, starting with the darkest blue. Now this recipe makes about 12 to 14 cupcakes. Next I repeated the same steps with a medium shade of blue batter, just taking two spoons of batter and slowly layering it over the dark blue, and then repeating the same process with the lightest blue batter ending on the top. I then bake my cupcakes in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. As always, everyone's oven is always going to be different, so one way you can tell if your cupcake is ready is just by inserting the toothpick in the middle and if it comes out clean, then it's done. I like to always remove my cupcakes immediately and let them cool in a wire rack just so they don't continue to bake in the pan. Now while I waited for my cupcakes to cool, I moved on to preparing my buttercream frosting. I started by mixing half a cup of unsalted butter at room temperature with half a cup of Crisco, adding one teaspoon of vanilla, and slowly adding three and a half cups of powdered sugar, a quarter cup of whole milk, with a pinch of salt. The salt just kind of helps the mass some of the sweetness. The consistency of the frosting should be thick and hang on to the spatula like so. If you happen to be in a much more warmer area and find that your frosting is still a little runny, the best way that you can fix that is just to put it in the fridge for about 15-20 minutes to just allow the butter to solidify a little and it makes it kind of easy to work with. Or you can just add a little bit more powdered sugar. Now once my cupcakes cooled, I put my frosting in a piping bag and just did a simple swirly design a little bit of sprinkles and I found these really cute miniature dolls of Elsa and Anna from Frozen and I just used them as cupcake toppers for the birthday girl. Now that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Now if you end up doing something like this or something similar, please share your picture or your videos with me via Instagram or Twitter at QueenlyLani because I'd love to see it. I'll be sure to leave additional information pertaining to the full recipe in the description bar below. Now if you guys have any suggestions of some video ideas that you'd like to see me do, please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. And who knows, I just might do it. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.